everybody, it's Tracy from Downward Dog Rising. I'm going to give you a lower body workout today. So if you feel like working your legs and you want to use your body's resistance, if you don't have weights, join me. All right, come on, let's go. We're going to do a set of standing squats. Whenever you squat, make sure your knees never shoot over the front of your toes. Your weight is going to go backwards through hips and heels. Stand with your feet hip width apart. You're going to sit straight back and come right up again. Sit back through hips and heels, come right back up. Reach to shoulder height, come right back up again. Seven. Make sure knees stay behind the toes. Six. Sit back through hips and heels. Five. Four. Three, two, we're going to do another set of ten. Nine, weight through hips and heels, fill the hip crease. Eight, seven, six, five, feel core tighten into your spine. Three, two, Take your hands in front, hold it here. Tailbone long, hold it here. Six and five, four, three, two. Come all the way back up. All right. We're gonna do a set of calf raises. Just reach arms to sky, come in, tighten your core to your back. Reach up, balance. Come back down. Reach up and balance. Come back down. Lifting up. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three more. Lift. Two more. Good, last one. Take a step back, lift up your heel. We're gonna take our arms over our head. Your back heel is lifted. 50% of your weight is in your front leg. 50% of your weight is in your back leg. Front knee never shoots over the toes. We're gonna have length in our spine, head away from tailbone, and you're gonna take it down Lift straight back up. Front knee is always behind the line of your toes. Look straight ahead. So your core is strong. Core is strong. As ever, all my mats slip underneath my feet. I'm trying to get my balance because my fo footing is slipping. Another set of 10. Look straight ahead. Nine. Eight. Seven, squeeze that back loop. Six, five, and four. Three more. Two more. Last one. We're going to step together. Walk it out for a second. We're going to switch legs. Front knee stays behind the line of your toes. Back heel is going to lift up. Length and spine, top of head away from tailbone. And you're just going to reach your arms forward, bring them to your sides. Straight down, straight up. That back knee bends equally as the front. Front knee is behind your toes. Straight down, straight up. My footing keeps sliding. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Last one, walk it out. Okay. 
All right. Next, what I'm gonna have you do, you did squats, then you did lunges. Now we're gonna do a plie or horse stance. So for this one, this part of the back, we don't wanna go down that way. We wanna keep this part elongated. Turnout position like this. So your legs go into turnout. So it looks like this, low back is long collarbones wide, and then you're just going to reach arms together over your head, come back in, together, come back. So it looks like this, your knees stay behind the line of your toes, reach, come up, reach, come up, control, so going into a horse stance, good, back is long. Spine is long, neutral pelvis, hip bone straight ahead. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. And four. Good. Three. Two more. Stay here, heel, heel, come back up, down. Heel up, heel up, come back up and down. Heel up, heel up, stand, come down. Heel up, heel up, stand, come down. Heel up, and now, stand, come down. Seven more, heel up, heel up, stand, come back down again. Heel up, heel up, stand, come back down. Heel up, heel up, stand, come back down. Heel up, heel up, stand, come back down. Six more, stand, come back down. Five more, four, work those quads, work those calves. Three, and up, lower down, two more. Up, lower down, last set. Come back down, both up, both down. Both up, both down, both up, both down. Keep your balance, both up, both down. Six, five, they're burning. Four, three, two more. Last one, walk it in. All right, shake out your legs. All right. Okay, next one, I'm gonna have you stand. You're gonna balance on your supportive leg. Careful not to lock out your knee. Tighten your core. Lift, hand down. Point, flex. Point, flex. Tighten your core. Point and flex, point and flex. Point and flex, point and flex. Tighten your core. Ten more. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, and four, and three, two. Switch sides. Careful not to lock out that knee. Lengthen up through top of head. You're gonna stand on this one leg. Feel side of hip and glute working. Point and flex, point and flex. Lift and down, lift and down. Keep going. Lift and down, lift and down. We're gonna do sets of 30. Point, flex, point and flex foot. Two, we got 10 more, 10. Think of a string lifting through top of head. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three more, two more. 
Last one. Good job. Now just gonna have palms forward. Bend one knee, palms back. Running in place. One, two. One heel up, one heel down. One and two. One and two. Press ball of foot into the mat. Transfer your weight side to side. Press through ball of foot, tighten core to spine. Five and four and three. Two more. Last one. Good. Now on this one, you're gonna lift your leg. Woo, I'm losing my balance. Tighten your core. Lift the leg, ground down into the ground and lower. Pull tight through your center. Lift, down, lift, down, lift, balance, lift, down. Six, five, keep grounding opposite foot into the floor. Three, two, that foot goes down, tighten your core, lift and lengthen, ground, lift and down, lift and down. Think of drawing really tight into your core, balance. Seven, six, five, push the floor away, four, three more, keep pushing the floor away, two more, and last one. Awesome. Take a step back now. Front knee is gonna be bent. Back heel is gonna lift up. And you're just gonna do arms up, arms down. As you just sell lunges again. Back heel is lifted. Pick a focal point so you don't lose your balance. Up, lift and circle. And inhale and exhale. And inhale, exhale. Spine is long. And six, squeeze your back glute, five. Lift that front quad off your kneecap, four. Quad is your thigh, front of your thigh, three. Two more. Last one. Take a step forward. You're gonna walk it out, shake out those legs. So you don't need weights. You can still get a workout if you don't have any weights, so no worries. Other foot forward. Take a step back. Align your hip bones. We want our hips to be level, even. Back heel lifts up, mind, body, into your glute, back leg. So we did this way before. Now we're gonna go side, up, down. We just reversed the arms. Side, up, down. Side, up, down. Use your core. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale and exhale. Chest lifts, tighten your core. That back knee needs to bend. And eight, keep going. Seven, six, five, front knee stays behind toes. Four, and three, two more. Last one, and then walk it out. Walk it out again, that's it. Awesome. Okay, next, what I want you to do, you're gonna have one leg straight, the other leg turns out. So one leg's parallel, face is straight ahead, hip bones are straight, other leg goes into turn out position. And then what I want you to do, you're gonna Make sure when you bend to the side, the knee is right over the toes, and then you're gonna come up. So you're gonna go to the side, lift. So you're gonna go side lunge, come up, side lunge, come up. Doing a side and center. Your hips are just directly under the shoulders. Side and center, spine is long. Bend and lengthen. Bend and lengthen. Press arms away. Engage those shoulder blade muscles in your back.
Pull those shoulder blades towards each other, towards each other. Core is strong. Good. Five more. Four more. Three. Two. Good. Come all the way in. Switch sides. So this leg's gonna go straight ahead parallel. Turn out position, other leg. Your heels stay in alignment. Like you don't want one leg in front. Keep them side to side parallel. Turn out position. And then what happens, you're gonna lunge to the other side now. This knee stays behind the line of the toes. Your hips are just straight under the shoulders. And you're just gonna have hands up, come down. Up, come down. That front knee stays behind the toes, this one. Shoulders away from ears, core is strong. Good. Knee is behind toes whenever you bend it. Nine. Eight. Seven and six, five, four more, and three, and two. Good. Last one. And then we're just going to step together, walk it out. Okay. Next one, I'm going to spread the mat. And we're going to take it to the floor. So next one, we're gonna take it down. All right. What I want you to do, when you're on your hands and your knees, we're gonna call this quadruped. Here's cow, here's cat. Chin away from tailbone, core draws in. Head away from tail, tighten core, four more. Three more, scoop core tight, two more. Last one. Okay, you're on all fours. You're gonna keep your hip bones straight to the floor. Now on this one, you're gonna lift and down. Lift, down, lift, down. Seven, six, Five. Modified, you would have your knee bent like this. Modified, bend and lower. Four, three, two. Now we're going to go straight up, straight down. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one. Switch it to the other side. So you're on all fours again. We'll do this hydrant and keep this part of the back elongated. Lift and down. Nine, eight, seven, six, core is strong. Five, four, three, core is strong. Two. Okay, we're gonna take our legs straight out to the side. Gonna engage side of hip and thigh, tighten your core to your back. Lift and down, lift, down, lift, down. Eight, seven, six, keep core strong. Five, and four, and three, and two. Last one. All right. Okay, next one that I want you to do, I'm gonna switch sides again. Coming all the way around. So you're gonna go, you're gonna bend your knee up, down, footprint to the sky, tighten your core to your low back, and you're just being careful that you don't arch this part of your spine. Lift and down, lift and down. Really tighten your abdominal wall to your spine. Up, down, up, down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, 10, nine, 
eight, seven, and six, five, and four, three, and two. Adding on lift, cross, up, down. Lift, cross over, lift up, down. Lift and cross, up and down. Keep your core super strong. Lift and cross, up and down. And seven, and down. Six, cross, up and down. And five, four more. Up, cross, up and down. Three more, up and cross, up and down. Two more, up and cross, up and down. Last one. All right, flip it. And again, tighten your core. This part of the back stays elongated, neutral. Then what you do, lift that leg up, lower down, lift and down, lift and down, lift and down. Seven, six, tighten your core. Five, four, three, and two. We have 10 more, keep going, don't stop, 10. Nine, footprint to the sky. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, okay. Lift, cross, up, down. Tighten your core, cross, up, down. Lift and cross, up and down. Lift and cross, up and down. Seven, lift and cross, up and down, six, five more, four, lift and cross, up and down, three, two more, up and cross, up and down, last one, up, cross, up and down, good job, we're going to stretch it out next, take your knee, bend one leg in front, we're gonna take the other leg and fold it right behind you. Rise up through the spine. Stretch over your legs. Keep both sits bones on your mat. Breathe in, breathe out. Come all the way up. Take this other leg in front, shins parallel. Take this other leg back, shins parallel. Stretch arms to sky. Equal weight through your pelvis. Stretch forward. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. One more. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back up. All right. Next exercise that I want you to do. You're going to take your top leg. You're going to cross it. Come and lie on your side. Keep shoulders away from ears. So you're gonna come down to your mat. Your bottom leg is gonna straighten out. Your top leg is bent. And then what I want you to do is inner thigh lifts. So keep pelvis stable, lift and down. Lift and down. Lift and down. Seven, six, Five, four, and three, and two. Now pulse up, 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 up. Little pulses, 10 more. Nine, eight, seven, and six, and five, four, three, and two. Last one. Take both legs straight in front. Now you're gonna cross opposite leg. Keep shoulder away from here. You're gonna lean on your forearm, come back down. Top leg is on top, fold it in front, lift up your bottom leg, lower back down. So on your side, lift and down, lift, down, lift, down, lift, seven and six, five, elongate that inner thigh, four, three, two. Okay, now keep it up there. Pulse, pulse, pulse. Keep core tight. 10, 9, and 8, and 7, and 6, and 5, 
four, and three, two, last one. Good job. Okay, we're going to stretch out your inner thighs. So we're going to do seated butterfly. Take the soles of your feet together. They might not come all the way into your groin, to your inner thighs. You might have a little space there. You're going to rise up all the way to the top of your head. And then stretch forward. Breathing in. Breathing out. Really stretch up through the spine. Stretch those inner thighs. Hinging from hips, keep spine elongated. Breathing in, breathing out. Gently come up so you just stretch the inner thighs. Let's stretch hamstrings. Take your legs. Reach them both straight out in front of you. Straight out in front of you. Rise up through the spine. Lift and lengthen. And you're going to hip hinge forward. You might grab for the knees, the shins, the ankles. Wherever you can reach for. Hold it here and breathe. Little forward head to toe bend. Forward bend. Caterpillar. Breathing in, breathing out with that low back release. So remember, hinge from your hip. We're going to turn, we're just going to pull one leg straight back, glute, heel to glute. You're going to stretch out front of hip right there. And just hold the stretch for a moment. Stretching your quad. Just pulling your heel to the back of your leg, to your glute. Inhale, exhale, gently release. Now you're just going to swing your legs around, sit on your other hip. Reach back, grab your foot. You're just pressing hip forward, letting your heel come to the back of your thigh or your glute. Hold it here and breathe. Hold it here and breathe. Stretch out your quad. One more time. All right. And gently release. And then I'm going to have you extend your legs straight in front of your body. You're going to cross one knee in front, like that. Plant the bottom of your foot to the ground. Now whatever knee is bent in front of you, you're going to rise up and you're going to twist. You're going to bring your hand around that knee. The other arm reaches straight up. You're going to turn and look over your shoulder. We're going to do a little seated twist. And just breathe into sides of ribs, look over your shoulder. A little stretch for your spine. Breathing in, breathing out. Get your back to release. Gently come back center. Extend that leg out. Fold the other leg. Foot's flat. Now you're just going to rotate. Wrap that arm around your leg. Lift this other arm up, really lengthen straight up through your spine. Little seated twist. Inhale, exhale, elongate. Breathing in, and breathing out. One more time. And gently return center. All right, I'm just going to have you cross legs, sitting in Sukhasana, easy pose. And then we're just going to close out this workout. You did a great job. Did a lower body workout. Inhale and exhale. Bring hands to heart. Just feeling grateful, feeling thankful to have worked out today. Little quick lower body workout. So thank you for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit like or subscribe so I can bring you more content. All right. Thanks everybody. Take care. Peace.
Later.